I mean, that, that Cummins engine and older models is fine. That's a good engine, but that last model, they were too choked down. Yeah. That's the only, that, the one quad track I, I uh, my least favorite was the 480. 450s were, the 450 was fine. Mm -hmm. uh, but that Aveco, like I said, that made a big difference, five, eight percent on fuel, and now we're gaining another 10. If, if memory serves me correctly, that would have been the first tier three. That 480 would have been the first. Uh, probably. Tier, yeah, first I think you're three. right. So you saw in that one the effect of EGR. You didn't gain any power. You just burnt more fuel. Yeah. It didn't do any more work than the 450. It just burnt more fuel. Mm -hmm. Well, the, my first one, the best uh, explanation of tier two to tier three. You know, the 8010s originally came out with tier two engines. Mm -hmm. And I was combining wheat for under a gallon an acre. Mm -hmm. And then the year I got my 8010 tier three, we, we were just gonna go do 80 acres right west of home. And we're kind of in a hurry. I said, just put in whatever, 75, 80 gallons of fuel. I know we'll have enough. Well, we're like 10, 15 acres from done, and I get a call. We were get some fuel out here pretty quick. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Welcome to tier three. Yeah. No more, uh, we lost that much economy on the combine. Mm -hmm. I mean, again, it, it's, it's noticeable. So going back to tier two, it is definitely noticeable.